and like Serene's here with another reaction. So today we're gonna continue with our Golden Girls series, this time with season four, episode 14, titled Love Me Tender. As always, if you're looking for the full length reaction to this particular episode or any of my other content, you can find that on Patreon and the link will be in the description below. And if you cannot support us on Patreon, that's completely fine. You can support us directly here on YouTube by liking this video, commenting, and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get into our episode. According to the rules of etiquette, you should never wait more than 20 minutes for a date. She's already waited six months for a date. What's another half hour? <laughs> I hate blind dates. You know, Ma, I never would have agreed to this if it wasn't your best friend Edna's good-looking doctor nephew. Oh, he wasn't available anymore. He decided to buy a woman from the Philippines. Wait, so who is she meeting? Actually, he bought two women. He wanted an extra for formal occasions. <laughs> then who is who? this guy? Well, to tell you the truth, I was on the bus. Wait a minute. You set Dorothy up with some guy you met on a bus? Please, it wasn't that glamorous. <laughs> I saw a sign on the bus. It said, lonely, can't make connections with that special person. So what? took $20 out of your purse, sent in a picture, they ran it through the computer, and boom, you got a social life. <laughs> Ma, I can't Online dating. You sent my picture in to a total stranger? I didn't send in your picture, I sent the picture that came with my wallet. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be my date, Rose. Oh, gee, I'm busy tonight, but maybe you could join me again next week. What's in the box, Rose? Oh, What's Rose, in the sure box? It'll be a PAL program. I'm mailing them out. Oh, oh. How does that work? Well, you just put them in an envelope and just put a stamp on them. Not that, you idiot. Oh, the Be A Pal program. Yes. Well, each week you get a motherless girl and be her pal. You know, help her with her homework and take her to movies and have dinner together. Now, that's very interesting. That's very you sweet. Get involved with that. But you, Blanche. Sure. Why, nothing would be more satisfying than to be of loving service to a lonely motherless child. Of course, I'll have to see pictures of the father before I commit. <laughs> of course. Well, if you're really interested, I could call the office and see about sending over two girls. Great. Count me in. It took a computer to come <gasps> up with this? <laughs> I'm Dorothy. These are my friends, Blanche and Rose. Hello. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, Eddie, I hope you're not too terribly disappointed. My mother wasn't exactly honest in sending in that picture. I knew that. I have quite a few Jana Gaynors and frames around my house. <laughs> Believe me, when you've been in a deep depression for a year and a half, nothing phases you. Oi. Well, <laughs> Eddie, what wonderful things have you got planned for tonight? Uh, nothing. I was going to cancel, but my therapist wouldn't let me. Perhaps if we spoke to him together. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still not really recovered. You see, after 25 years of marriage, my wife, Roberta, sent me a Dear John letter. That's Oy. terrible married 25 years and she doesn't know your name is Eddie. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> well, I guess I have to feed you. <laughs> Let's go look for a place to eat, Roberta. Uh, no, no, her name's Dorothy. Your ex-wife is Roberta. Sure, rub my nose in it. And? Are you just getting in? No, Blanche. I, I got up early and went jogging in a park <laughs> with a really strict dress code. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need some coffee. How was it? What's the number of the police station? Is there anything wrong, Sophia? Nah, I just want to find out where I can buy the best donut. Is she lucky for Dorothy? Oh, something is wrong. <laughs> Dorothy never came home. She's home. Yes, she did. She's in the kitchen. All right. Spill it. I want details. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. Not me three. Now. Eddie took me to the restaurant where he had met his ex-wife, Roberta. So I guess you're not going to see him again. Oh, yes. Yes, I will. What? Wait, what? Listen, pussycat, it's been a long time since you've been out on a date. And it's quite possible you can no longer judge a good one from a bad one. <laughs> so let me be of help. This is a bad one. Bad date, Dorothy. Bad, bad date. <laughs> what did you do the rest of the night? Well, I tried to comfort him. I must have lost track of time because the next thing I knew it was morning. Oh, I better get some rest. We're meeting for lunch. 
I don't understand. Anything in common. I guess it's just like that old saying, you know, opposites attract. Oh, that's very true. Back in St. Olaf, uh, Ollie Knudsen Springle and his wife Bridget were opposites in every way. I mean, he was fat, she was thin, he was neat, she was sloppy. I'll never forget the time they sang at our annual talent show, right after the herring juggling act. You mean to tell me that somebody actually juggled herring? No! It was the herring who did the juggling. <laughs> Tiny little Ginsu knives. <laughs> really very dangerous. I mean, one false move, they could have filleted themselves. Oh my God! I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am. Oh my God! Uh, just the way she said it, I hate you. <laughs> I need to put that on a t shirt. This is Jackie. We're from the Be A Pal program. Yes, and I'm Blanche. <laughs> well, just let me freshen my makeup. Girls, why don't you come with me and I'll show you how I transform myself into a fresh-faced, innocent young thing. <laughs> Could you skip the innocent part, Blanche? The show starts in two hours. <laughs> Around. She's just showing the girls some makeup tricks before we go to the movies. Anything I can do? Uh, no, thanks. I just need to talk to somebody. Oh, I get it. Oh. It's about Eddie. You know, I've been seeing him for a week now. I am having a relationship with him like I have never had with a man before in my life. It is purely physical. Eddie is the greatest lover I have ever had. Really? Come on, Dorothy, if we're gonna do this, you have to tell me the truth. <laughs> She's trying to. No, I am telling you the truth. Honey, there is more to Eddie than meets the eye. But the only thing we have in common is under the sheets. What's under the sheets? Oh, babes. That's why she wanted to talk to Blanche. His cappuccino maker. <laughs> Sex, Rose. I am talking sex. We don't go to dinner. We don't go to the movies. We just go to bed, and it is terrific. All that and cappuccino, too? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> well, what's the problem? Did I say there was a problem? Well, you said you wanted to talk about it. Well, I mean, can't one have a discussion without there being a problem? Well, I thought maybe you were feeling guilty. Guilty? I have nothing to feel guilty about. I am having the time of my life. I just wanted to, you know, say it out loud. But listen, honey, don't mention this to anybody. It's the kind of thing that most people probably wouldn't understand. Oh, don't worry, Dorothy. Rose Nyland can keep us. No, secret. she cannot. Do you know what the name Nyland means in Norwegian? No. Well, I'm not telling you. Ooh. She's keeping a secret. <laughs> Going out with Eddie again? Yes. Oh, by the way, uh, Blanche, I borrowed your gold earrings, if that's okay. Oh, it's fine, but I do think I should caution you. They were meant for petite eels. <laughs> They'll just have to do until Disney unveils their Dumbo line. <laughs> I'd better grab something to eat before Eddie gets here. Wait a minute. Why don't you just go out to eat? There never seems to be enough time. <laughs> <laughs> There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. It's their cheese. <laughs> they refuse to use preservatives. <laughs> I mean, between Dorothy and Eddie, there is something peculiar in that relationship. You're right. And I'm gonna find out what it is, or my name isn't Sophia. Sophia. Petrillo. Sophia Petrillo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the doctor is right. Maybe I do need all three pills a day. <laughs> Eddie's a love machine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorothy. I held out as long as I could. <laughs> she said she'd tickle me. 
You're a regular Nelson Mandela. <laughs> so that's it. Lust. Look, Ma, I am a grown woman and I have needs. Needs? You need food. You need air. <laughs> you need a better wrinkle cream. Oh. You don't need sport nookie. Sport nookie. Oh, I just haven't found a thing today. I don't look right in American clothes. I have a more European body. <laughs> Oh, in Europe, do they all have big butts, too? Hi, Lance. Hi, Rose. Hey, girls. Where on earth have you girls been? Well, we were helping elderly people get a good grip on the escalator. We just lost all track of time. Oh, sweet, isn't that sweet? <laughs> That's a lot. Can hold our bags? Shoot. We want to go toss a few pennies in the fountain. Oh, okay. I'm going to make a wish that we stay pals forever. Oh, <laughs> we'll see you in the car. Okay. I hope they didn't steal these things. The greatest. Yes. Looks like I've been a good influence on them. And ding, 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 ding. That's what I thought. Excuse me, ladies. I need to inspect your bag. Our cute little pal stole some merchandise and made us the fall guys. We have to appear in court at noon tomorrow. Jeez. And where were you? We were calling all night. Well, I was out with Eddie. Actually, I just got home myself. Well, I wonder why Sophia didn't answer. She probably thought it was me calling and decided not to answer. It's a little guilt trick she's used Sorry. Me ever since I was 15. I'm getting a little bit of pain in my hand. Major surgery and telling me about it two days later. <laughs> Well, the days of my mother making me feel guilty are over. There is nothing wrong with my relationship with Eddie, and if my mother can't buy it, I am very sorry. It is her problem. Oh, just getting in? Listen, if you three are just going to use this place days, would you mind if I got one of those medical emergency beepers? I'd feel terrible if you came home one morning and found me on the doorstep instead of the Miami Herald. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's not going to work. I do not feel guilty about staying out all night, and I do not feel guilty about Eddie. Don't underestimate me. I can make <laughs> you feel guilty about bombing Pearl Harbor if I want to. <laughs> the point is, I don't want you to feel guilty. There's nothing wrong with a physical relationship. But I thought this kind of relationship was wrong for you. Well, it's not. Dorothy, I'm your mother. I know you. You're a loving and sensitive person. Oh, but that's this what isn't she gonna be enough someday. You'll be bored and dissatisfied, and you'll end up unhappy. I hate to see that happen to you, pussycat. But if you think you can handle that, just look me straight in the eye and I'll drop the whole thing. Ma, I can handle that. Both eyes. <laughs> oh, Ma, I hate it when you're right. And I guess I knew you were right all along. But what are you going to do, Dad? Well, I'll have to have a talk with Eddie. I mean, it is obvious that this relationship has to... Taper off. <laughs> All right, end. I'll end it. <laughs> you see, most of the judges at juvenile court know us. I think we've worn out our cute act. Now you listen to me, you little monster. Wow. You think we're going to be your patsies. You have another thing coming. Maybe some cookies and milk could change your mind. <laughs> That's not a... No, you're doing this wrong. Yeah. How about $50 and you tell the truth? What do you say? Are you trying to bribe us, Lance? Oh, yeah, you catch on quick. Make it 150 each. Ooh. Oh, you little pirates. All right, you got it. Now get out of here. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, Lance. Lance. I'll beat it. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Don't worry, that check was written on our vacation account that we closed last week. <laughs> You're going to get in trouble for trying to cash Stop a fraudulent. Cash a check from mm -hmm. Jim and Tammy Baker. <laughs> Eddie is just a man cut from the same cloth as the many men who have dumped you over the years. <laughs> Why did you have to say it like that? Just think of him as all those men, Dorothy. Or just become think of him as Stan. Before you become the dumpy. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I'm going to get rid of him just the way Paul Bennington got rid of me, the way Steve Mendelbaum got rid of me, the way Tom Carlin... We'll yep. be here all afternoon. Can you just open the door? Right, right. right. The man is history. Hi, Dorothy. Oh, Eddie, I want you so bad. Uh-uh. 
I can't help it. He looks so cute in that little suit. What Dorothy is trying to tell you. Uh-uh. What's cologne you're wearing? No, 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 no. Don't fall for the trap. I'm not wearing cologne. But that's impossible. It smells kind of like a mixture of Old Spice and musk and... Uh, and a porterhouse steak? Yes. That's me. The smell really gets intense when I sweat. <laughs> really? Well, I'd be curious to find out just how... Whoa! <laughs> oh. Now look here, Eddie. Now you listen to me. Dorothy has decided she wants nothing more to do with you. I can't understand why, because I think you have... About the cutest ears I've ever seen in my life. This always happens. I'm cursed. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been absolutely irresistible to women. I know I'm a little plain to look at. Oh, but... no, you're not plain at all. Oh, you're adorable. Cute as a button. Please, please let me finish. I know I'm plain to look at. But everything I do seems to drive the opposite sex crazy. I don't do it on purpose. I mean, it just happens. I, the, the way I look at a woman, the, the way I make love to a woman, the, the way I kiss a woman, the, the way I make love to a woman. <laughs> you said make love twice. I know, it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm not surprised you wanted to dump me tonight, Dorothy. The good ones always do. They always end up wanting more than just nights filled with unbridled ecstasy. Oh. What are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> I better get going. I've caused enough trouble. Look, Eddie, Eddie, can't we see each other occasionally just as friends? It won't work. It's like trying to eat one potato chip. Woody, I never noticed that beauty mark on your neck. What beauty mark? That one! <laughs> <laughs> All right, fam. So we just finished watching um, Love Me Tender. So, <laughs> so Dorothy got a little bit of uh, her groove on. It's funny because the episode before that, it was Rose and Sophia getting their, their groove on. In this episode, it's our Dorothy. Um, she goes on a blind date that her mom set up for her with this guy named, I think Eddie? I think Eddie was his name? Hold on. Let's see. I think it was Eddie. Um, and uh, when it came to, so he's not the most attractive man, I would say, compared to some of the guys that they've um, they've dated before. Um, but apparently, he's an exceptional lover, and you know, rocks Dorothy's world. And but uh, then Sophia reminds her that as a person, she's going to want more. And this man, all they have in common is sex and sex is not a relationship it's a situationship and eventually she's going to want more and he's not going to be the one to provide that for her so in order to protect her heart then it needs, she needs to kind of end things as soon as possible which she end up doing or at least trying to with the help of uh rose and blanche but then even they get under his spell and apparently he does that to um all the women like once they're around him something happens he calls it a curse i mean that's it could be a blessing for most guys um but being around him makes women fall in love with him and or fall sexually attracted to him and uh yeah and that's what was happening and not only was it dorothy but it was blanche and rose and Sophia, it's insane. And on the B side, the girls, so Sophia, sorry, no, Blanche and Rose decided to be almost like a big sisters. Um, so cert, like substitute or friend moms. Um, so women who can help other girls who do not have mothers and kind of be almost like a big sister, um, like the big sister, big brother program. And, um, Unfortunately, the two girls that they find are two little little devils, and they end up, uh, you know, using 
Blanche and Rose in order to get what they want. So go see a Mel Gibson movie where he's shirtless and then shoplifting in a mall, which is insane. Um, so it sucks. I hope that when it comes to Rose, she still keeps this program, even though um, the two girls that they were helping were not that great. But I hope that they can still do that because it's a great asset for the community as somebody who um, enjoyed being, I wasn't necessarily part of the big sister, big brother program, but I had good mentors growing up, um, through school and through, um, other things that I was a part of where I had older kids as a, as like a little, like as a brother and sister to kind of look up to. And, um, that made a difference for me. So I would hope that they are able to continue that program and help the people in their community and all those little girls. So, um, yeah, as an episode, it was a great episode. It was funny. It was great to kind of see Dorothy in that light where she's not invested emotionally in somebody, but she's just having a good time. And she was just kind of feeling herself having you know a great time with this man and talking about it and even the scene with her and rose even though rose she was a little slow in the uptake but it was nice to kind of see her just talking and not about a problem with a guy but just talking about how much she's enjoying somebody's presence so i really enjoyed that episode it was a really good one and as for who the mvp is going to be my MVP is going to be Miss Thang Thang Dorothy. Um, again, her just kind of, you know, releasing that sexual animal that she has and just seeing a different side of her. I really enjoyed that. So she gets my MVP this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Mwah! Bye for now.